Dear Brandon, I'm sorry I forgot to give you a Christmas gift on time, but don't worry, I got you exactly what you've been wanting. John. Does he know I want a pair of Beats headphones? Oh, please be Beats. Please be Beats. Seriously. Was that the gift I gave you? What, was what? 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 Brandon! I'm sorry, hi John. Uh, no, I don't. Brandon, seriously! Yeah. I get you what you wanted, something unique, something one of a kind, and this is what you do? I'm, I'm sorry, no, 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 you know what? That, I was actually, I, I, these are for something I was doing for you. <laughs> Hold on, there we go. Christmas. For me? Yeah. <laughs> oh, Brandon! Uh, this is so thoughtful I, well, of you. I, know I wonder what it is. Something I just threw uh, together. No way! Oh, these are perfect. Oh, my favorite song. Hey everybody, I'm John. And I'm Brandon, and you're watching The So-and-So Show. It's the most miserable week of the year. Why would you say that? Because this is the saddest week of all. Christmas is over. The morning has begun. With the children complaining, the weight you'll be gaining, the lights disappear. Did you write lyrics for the whole song? Christmas is, is so magical and happy, and then when it's the week after Christmas, it's like, oh, I have to wait a whole year till Christmas again. <laughs> it's the most miserable time of the year. Look, that's no way to look at it, John. I, even our friend Joy is gone. So, I mean, we still have lots of reasons to be joyful. All the Christmas cheer hasn't worn off yet. Uh, maybe. Hey. If I can't convince you, maybe someone else can. Please welcome someone who knows stuff. Hey! Hey, come on right. in! Come on in! Great. Someone who knows stuff, come here yeah. and have a seat. Yeah, have a seat. It's all for you. Yeah. So. Okay. Right <laughs> okay. Uh. All right. Welcome to the show. Uh, who are you and what do you know? I am Hans Decibel, audio acquisition engineer. Ooh, an engineer, that sounds fancy. Yeah. Yeah, uh, so what does, uh, what does an audio acquisition engineer do? I travel the globe, mm -hmm. capturing the audible essences of joy Ooh. with my sound capturing device. That's a tape recorder. You will listen to one now. All right, this is exciting. exciting, yeah. Heck, yeah, that's kind of nice. Yeah, actually. I feel yeah. like it's springtime already. Yeah. Exactly. This horns decibels, joy sounds. You can bring joy with you all year long. Oh, so these sounds are for sale. That is correct. Oh, great. Horns decibels, joy sounds. It's just $42.97 per month for 16 months. Oh, well, that sounds reasonable. To whom? Now, we listen to another one. Uh, sure, I'd love to, but. Uh, yeah. yeah. Oh, no. Wait, okay, this one okay. be good. All right. Why was that joyful again? Because the sound of a healthy digestive tract should bring joy to any man, woman, or child. Uh, now, another one. Actually, I think we've kind of run out of time. Yeah. Just... yeah. Mm. Life. Do you have anything a little more peaceful? Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Ah. Oh. Yeah. That's a good one here. Is it broke? Shh. Don't speak over it. The sound of agriculture? No. That was the sound 
of an eagle feather dropping on the floor of an empty storage unit. All right. Hey, you know what? That's all the time we have for that. Thank you so much for being on the show today, Hans. Yeah. It brought me great joy. Mm -hmm. Now, would you like to buy one of Hans Decibel's Joy Sounds cassette tape sets? Yeah, yeah he's good. That... He's good. Very well. Thank you. Yeah. All right. All right thank we'll you. see you later. Yeah. Arrivederci. Okay. Oh, wow. Right. Bye. I can't wait to hear from you. Because you do that. Man, that guy was filled with joy. It's Bible Story Time with Kellen. Hey, fellas. Hey, Kellen. You enjoying the saddest week of the year? Um, There'll be gifts for returning, the chestnuts are burning, the cookies have caused you decay. All your joy is expended, vacation has ended, next Christmas is far, far away. Okay. Well, are you guys ready for the Bible story? Yes, please. Eh, what do you have for us today? Well, today we are in the book of Matthew, chapter 2, sometime after Jesus was born. There were wise men who lived in the East. They weren't that wise. Uh, what? Don't sell them short. They found what they were looking for, didn't they? What is happening right now? Camille and Cameron Camel, carriers of wise men and Messiah gifts, followers of the star. Pleased to meet you. Right, okay, well, meet Camille and Cameron. Whoa, greetings, camels. I don't know what's more shocking, the fact that they can talk or the fact that they're 2,000 years old. Yeah. Yeah, these are not the actual camels from the Bible. We don't know for sure if the wise men even rode camels. Oh, and camels don't talk. Somebody forgot to tell Cameron that. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, since there's no escaping this, why don't you both tell me more about the wise men? Okay, so there were seven wise men. What are you talking about? There were only three. Nuh-uh, I remember because I counted the number on my hoof. You only have two toes on your hoof. Yeah, I counted the same hoof six times and came up with seven wise men. That makes sense. No, it doesn't. What do you want? We're camels. We're notoriously bad at math. Okay, fine. There was some amount of wise men. What did they do? They liked to look at the stars at night, like a lot. And one day they saw the star in the sky and that meant something. It was something super important to them too because they packed a bunch of presents on our backs, climbed on, and we started walking west to a city called Jerusalem. We walked for 700 miles. No, it was 300. I counted my hoof. Never mind. Let's just say you traveled a long way. What happened when you got to Jerusalem? The wise men started asking people, where's the child who's been born king of the Jews? We saw his star when it rose and we've come to worship him. See, they knew somehow the star they'd seen meant a king had been born somewhere near Jerusalem. Yeah, how'd they know that anyway? Hello, they were wise. Oh, yeah. Anyway, they're asking all these people about this new king. And the next thing we know, we're being taken to see the king. In secret. Yeah, it was all really hush hush. Shh. You shh. 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 So, the wise men were brought to King Herod in Jerusalem. Apparently, word had gotten around that the wise men were asking about a new king, and King Herod was upset about it. If there was a new king, what did that make him? I knew that king was up to no good. The whole time he was being so helpful, he was actually looking out for himself. He was like, so when did you first see the star anyway? And you know, the prophecy says the king will be born in Bethlehem. You should go there, and when you find the boy, come back here and let me know so I can come and worship him. Yeah, worship him. You can't see, because I have hopes, but imagine I'm doing air quotes. Worship him. But the wise men still went to Bethlehem, right? Of course, that star they'd seen back east led them right to the house where the child was. Yeah, and I'm thinking, now what? Just knock on the door and say, so anyway, we were nowhere near the neighborhood and thought we'd drop in and worship your son. But that's kind of what they did. It's true. The kid was there with his mother, and they bowed down and worshipped him. 
His name was Jesus, by the way. And they gave him presents, gold and frankincense and the other thing. Myrrh. Right. All the myrrh a kid could ever want. That sounds amazing. Yeah. You know what? Traveling hundreds of miles with gold, frankincense, myrrh, and a wise man on your back is no picnic. But after seeing how much joy finding Jesus brought them, I gotta say, it was worth it. What did King Herod say when you reported back to him? They never went back to King Herod. They had a dream that told them to go home a different way. Yeah, we showed him. Well, Cameron and Camille, that was actually a really good retelling of the wise man story. Even though there is no way that you're real, thanks for being here. Hey, maybe you're the one who's not real. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Well, the wise men wanted to find God. So what did they do? They searched for him. And when they found Jesus, they found exactly what they were looking for. What do you think about that, fellas? Wow, those super old camels have a great memory. Yeah, it was great to hear the story firsthand, or should I say, first hoof. Oh, no! Sure, but I don't want you to miss what happened once the wise men finally found Jesus. They were filled with joy, and then they worshipped him. A pretty good picture of what we can experience in our hearts whenever we find Jesus. Yeah, that's true. Wow, thanks, Kellen. My pleasure. I'll see you guys next time. See ya! You know, maybe the joy of Christmas doesn't have to just be at Christmas. I mean, just because the holiday is over doesn't mean Jesus went anywhere. He's still with us all year long. Yeah, so it's not the most miserable time of the year anymore? No, I don't think it is, Brandon. I found my joy again! Did somebody say Joy? Hey, Joy's back! Reveal the question. How can you find joy all year long? You can sing a song. It's the most wonderful time, no matter what time of year it is. Or you could pet a puppy. You can also... <gasps> or you could pet a kitten. Yeah. Oh, or... You could pet a tiny horse. You can also remind yourself of how much God loves you. That's why he sent Jesus. Yeah, talk about it together. And we'll see you next year on The So-and-So Show. Next year? Mm. A clogged faucet. Yeah. Just trying to match the pitch. Okay. My uncle trying to get on an inner tube in the pool. It's actually my uncle. Oh, yeah.